Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. I thought I would review FIOS. Someone had asked me about this chart a couple of days ago. I haven't had a chance to look at it because I had the gap class this weekend until now. And I also had a big rally here today, uh, big for FIO. It was 50 cents. Uh, someone had emailed me because they're in this position long. It's FIO isn't long. FIO is a short. And it's very interesting because even when this happened here, I knew FIO was still a short. When this happened here and this happened here, I knew FIO was a short and it gapped down here within a month of that. Rallied up here and I knew it was still short. And it did this thing here today, this little nothing thing here today, and it's still a short. So FIO is a short. Anyone that's in this long, my suggestion is to uh, make a decision where you're, what kind of loss you're willing to take on this if you're down in the position. You know, I have a saying. When the reason for taking the trade is gone, you exit the trade. So I don't know why anyone would go long this. I, I really don't. I see what some people did here because it did a buy set up here and went over here and went over and made a new high here and then made a higher high and a higher low. But the overall chart of FIO is down and it's been down. And it's going to keep breaking. So FIO isn't going to fix itself until... I'll tell you where FIO is a buy. About, not before, by the way. If I can get up to twenty three, although it's much better here at twenty five. It's better at 25. But if FIO ever gaps up any day of its life, <laughs> if it ever gaps up to 23, it's a buy. It's in an uptrend then. Or 25, preferably 25. But it's not a buy now, and it's not a buy anytime soon. And it's, it's, if it rallies up to $10, it's not a buy. It's, it's a short. So this had a little move up here today. And what happens when things do things like this? Who knows? It could have been news. It could have been whatever. It could have been short covering. People are in FIO short. That is the right direction. And people might have exited their short position here today. Or it might have had some kind of news rally. It doesn't matter. But this is not something to buy into. You can see that. This is a small little bar. This wasn't something to buy. You see that it collapsed and reversed this completely. This wasn't something to buy. And this was way bigger than this bar a little down here. And this rally up here too. Do you see how this rallied up here perfectly to resistance? File gap down here, rallied up here, hit up here in 1590, held $16, came in, rallied up again, hit in here and held, held $16, gap down here. I played this one as well, rallied up and guess where it held beautifully, absolutely perfect. 1515 didn't get anywhere near $16. FIO came down here and sat on the 50 period moving average and people are in love with this and thinking it's going to fix itself and go back up and they should buy it and they're buying something that's going to make them a million dollars, but it's not. FIO gaps down here on the 24th and that does this rally here. Is it going to fill the gap? Is there ever such a thing? Is that ever anything? Is that a strategy? Is it anything to trade? Is there a reason to risk your money doing something like that? The answer is no. No, no, no. FIO is a short and it rallies here into the resistance. The minimal least amount of resistance it could possibly go to, what is it? It's the actual opening price here of the day of this gap, 1125. And that's where FIO rallied up here, 1131. This is an area. This counts. FIO is a beautiful chart. It's a beautiful chart for a short. Gap down here, rallied up, held the number, rallied up, held the number, gap down, rallied up, held the number, gap down, rallied up, and held the least level of resistance it possibly could. File is breaking, 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 and file is going to keep collapsing. File may have a rally back up somewhere in here, temporary, into the end of the year, but I doubt it. I, I, I really, really doubt it. I think file is going to set up as a short again here soon. All right, so... It's just one of these things that if you're in a position and you realize the reason you took the trade was because you thought it was going to go higher and then it doesn't go higher and it fails to go higher and it only has one bar here and then it levels off and it breaks, you should kill the trade break even, in my opinion, when you realize that something's wrong. And there's something wrong here. This bar should not have been reversed if this was going to hold. And it was never going to hold. I mean, it just it was never, never, never going to hold. 
one of the reasons that I'm good at trading is because I can read trends and I know how to play with trends and I do that. When you play against the trend, when you can choose to do that, know that it's you're asking for trouble. You're just asking for trouble. And the problem is that every once in a blue moon, somebody will take a trade in the complete opposite direction, buying a down uh, gap or a down move, something in a downtrend and getting a rally or shorting something in an uptrend at steam's toppy. Every once in a blue moon, somebody will get a trade like that and it'll be a big trade for the, for the person, for the individual. And then they'll think that that's what they should do. They'll think, oh, this is my strategy. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make millions of dollars trading like this. But you're always against the trend when you do that. And they don't work as a strategy or a way to make money in the market. The only way you make money in the market is playing with the trend. You got to learn how to do that. And luckily, I know how to read and analyze gaps because they're telling me what's going on here. And I don't see a bar like this and get sucked into thinking files not a short anymore, even a bar like this. Instead of reading it for exactly what it is, I'm very good at reading support and resistance. I'm so good at this. Again, I say this in other videos. The numbers are real, people. You got to read the numbers. You got to read the resistance. You got to read the support. And you got to know what you're looking at. And file is a short. And it's going to rally back up again and then probably fall and break another time. And I highly doubt it even gets anywhere near this bar up here. And even if it does, it's going to break harder than the next time, just like this guy did here. Do you see how this sucked everybody into buying this here and broke hard? Sucked some people into buying it here and broke hard. So, you know, it's one of these things. My advice to people is do not buy in a downtrend and do not shorten an uptrend. This is just solid, solid, solid advice. It's very basic information. I know a lot of people like to do that because they feel like they're going to get a big trade easily, but there is no such thing. There, there just is no such thing. Big trades come easily when the market gives it to you and a fantastic gap. When you get out of bed in the morning or you see something great and you say, I'm in love with this thing. Tonight, I'm getting two great gaps. Two great gaps that I knew were going to work or the one that I knew was going to work, which is the pay. That That's the market giving me something. That's the market helping me out. That's the market getting ready to pay me tomorrow morning. I'm getting my gap. This idea of buying things down or shorting things at the top gets you nowhere. Gets you nowhere and makes you feel afraid of the market. And not only that, afraid to take a loss in something that you know is a bust. And then you pray and hope and wish and dream and pray and pray and pray that the stock goes back to your initial price where you can get out break even. And you know what? That never happens to people. It happens so rarely. And then people end up losing more and they should just kill their trade. So it's it's my opinion that FIO is still continuing the downtrend and is not going to recover, isn't going to recover, and won't recover the rest of the year. And I don't think it recovers next year either. Uh, FIO has to get up all the way up to 23 or 25. And that is a long, long way away. And so my best advice to people is to watch FIO for a short. FIO is a short. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. It's 515 on December 17th. Have a great evening, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow.